my past few days have been awesome because I got lots of free food. But I ate it. Yet. It's amazing how much garbage you can put into one of these bags. Yeah, so I've been having a pretty interesting past few days. Uh, a lot of exciting things have happened. Uh, the free food was one of them. It's really good. Oh, I got these. Uh, they're like the pretzel log things, but it's honey, mustard, and onion. And oh, and now I know it sounds nasty, and it kind of is. But like I had the first time I had these, I was on an airplane, and this was about the only thing we had to eat for five hours. And every time I got a package, I would just take them out one by one and just savor and just like let the juice, the juices, the flavor powder just like rest on the tongue and just absorb it and feel the taste of it and oh, just, oh, it's amazing. Like I hate honey mustard, but when you're on a plane and there's nothing to eat, it's so good. So other things have been awesome. Someone was tried to recycle Best Life, but they failed because they missed the recycling bin, but I don't really care because I took it now and it has John Hamm on it, who's in Mad Men, and there's a lot of cool pictures, and there's articles and stuff, and like, I have a lot of nice pictures, and I'm thinking I might hang some of them up in my room. Yeah, kind of creepy, but they're nice shots. They're really good, and the guy can pull off a suit. Other cool things. Um, probably the biggest one would probably be the LHC. Um, a while back, like two months ago, it was actually July 8th, I posted a video about the LHC, and it was titled, uh, uh, something about, like, afraid of being, afraid of the big, uh, I can't even think of the name. I'll post a link in here. But, um, yeah, it was still a video saying, like, it's not worth being afraid of it, and I started, like, joking around, uh, because I love Neil deGrasse Tyson, and I was talking about him in it, and that, um, his idea of, like, the coolest way to die would be a black hole, and I was talking about that. And then, the thing was, it got, like, a few views, like, from... When I first posted it, it got like a normal amount of views that I was kind of expecting. And it would pick up like a few every day. And then I started noticing I was getting comments on it. Um, and I figured, oh, it's just probably because like the LHC is coming up soon. And this was on like Monday. And, and then I noticed that there was like 20 comments on it in an hour. That had never happened to me before. And then I started wondering like what's going on. Something had to have happened because there's no way. Like I started searching on YouTube, but like I wasn't showing up. So... I looked under LHC and colliders and all the stuff like that, but I wasn't showing up and Insight would have taken like a day or two before they updated to tell me how, what was happening. And I couldn't figure it out. So I started going through A lot of them were just people like being mean, like swearing and stuff. Kind of amusing actually, like some of their terrible spellings and ideas and saying that we're all going to die and stuff. It's really amusing. Um, I think Cadwalder, you'd enjoy some of them. <laughs> Like, some people, they have just no idea. They're just freaking out over the entire thing. With, like, not even the parts that were worth... It's just sad. But it's amu it amused me. And I was wondering, like, well, maybe they're from, like, a chan or something. And, like, because that could explain why they're all coming with the weird screen names and the bad spelling. Uh, so I started going through the names, uh, the screen names and accounts, looking to see if they had, like, um, favorited any videos that would be involved with uh, memes and stuff. And... I noticed that a lot of them were subscribed to Sexy Phil, and then I started remembering, oh yeah, he posted a video about the LHC, like, a couple months ago, because I mentioned it in that video, and I put him in the tags, along with Hadron Collider, and I went to his page, because I'm not subscribed to him, and then I realized, oh shit, he just posted a video about how the world's going to end on Wednesday, and the first video in the related videos was my ugly face. So that video has something like 2,500 views, which is like a record for me. Like the highest I've ever gotten before was like at, like I got over one and a half thousand views in a day. Like the highest I've ever gotten on a video in one day was like 800 or 900, and that was because I had Rich Johnson mention it in Lying in the Gutters, which is like the biggest comic online gossip brag out there. And apparently, Sexy Phil is more powerful than him. I don't know, but it was just amusing. And I also picked up a lot of subscribers. I like quadruple, no, not quadrupled, but I went up like a fourth of what I had, which is really impressive. I'm now up to 50. Uh, I used to have like 38, 39, so I'm pretty happy with that, even if I got like 60 hate comments. I still got a few nice ones, and they were nice, because they were nice. Okay. 
But my, one of my favorite ones is, uh, I read Nirmon's blog, and on it I noticed a while ago that it was the five-year anniversary of it, like a few days ago. So I posted a message on his wall saying, like, hey, it's uh, on the YouTube wall. I was saying, hey, it's your blog's anniversary, congratulations. And then I go online today and I read this uh, entry. I'm just going to bleep out the swearing stuff. Bleep every year. I thought this year would be the first time since I started this bastard diary that I'd actually remember its anniversary, but no. Another year went by and I was reminded of it by a YouTube comment. That's by me. On my profile, bleep. Bar. Oh, and by the way, notice how the world didn't end last night? That's because you're all cunts. Alex. Yay! So, yeah, I got mentioned in his blog, indirectly. Or maybe directly, but without my, I don't care, I got mentioned in his blog, and I kind of pissed him off. <laughs> so that's an interesting feeling. Um, I'll see you guys um, whenever. I don't know if... I didn't post a video on Tuesday. I don't know if I'm going to post one tomorrow. Oh, I, one more awesome thing. I got back a paper I did. I wrote about John Green. <laughs> I talked about John Green in Science and Antarctica, and it, I like it. I might share part of it with you. So I might be posting that sometime this week, and bye!